powerful Israeli airstrike on weapons workshops in Gaza. Early this morning, the Israeli Air Force inflicted a series of airstrikes on the weapons workshops of the radical Palestinian movement Hamas in the Gaza Strip, BulgarianMilitary.com has learned, quoting TASS in Israel Times. The Israeli attack was in response to the recent launch of explosive balloons from Gaza in the direction of Israel, which caused fires in some parts of the country. The strike was carried out in response to the arson balloon attacks on Israeli territory. The IDF will respond with determination against all terror attempts from the Gaza Strip, reads the press release of the Israeli army. No one was injured in the Israeli attacks tonight, but Hamas weapons workshops were destroyed. According to TASS, the Israeli army warned about the air attacks, and the people in the attacked buildings were taken out in advance. It is common practice for Hamas to use explosive balloons to fly over Israeli skies and cause damage, if not removed by air defense systems. In addition to such balloons, Hamas workshops also make missiles with which Hamas attacks Israel. Their production is extremely cheap and simple, they are made from old pipeline pipes and are driven by hard potassium nitrate, sugar, and ordinary fertilizer. Explosives and explosives are also made from purified TNT and urea nitrate. The cost of producing such a rocket is nearly $800. The Israeli Fire and Rescue Service says the fires caused by Hamas balloons the day before were contained quickly and effectively. They were not large and did not cause significant damage. The last burst of explosive balloons from Hamas was in mid-June, June 15, when the Israeli Air Force responded again to these terrorist activities with an airstrike a few hours later.